Hello, Idol fans. Um, I'm here to give a little small review of the first day of Hollywood week for American Idol season 8. Um, I didn't get to see the entire episode. If some of you watched my video from yesterday, you'd know I have kind of a lot going on right now. I missed the first 10 minutes, after which, at the first commercial break, I called my mother in a panic and said, Did I miss Scott? Did I miss Scott? She said, No, don't worry, you didn't miss Scott. Not that much has happened yet, so... Phew! I was extremely relieved. It's not like me to miss any of American Idol ever. Um, so there weren't any really big surprises for me last night. Um, most of the people that made it through I thought would make it through. A lot of the people that got cut I thought would get cut. Some of the people that made it through surprised me because I thought they would get cut. Um, in particular, Bikini Girl, who I really don't think has that good of a voice, but she made it through. People are saying it's probably for entertainment value or whatnot, but whatever. And as many of you know, me personally, I couldn't carry a tune if my life depended on it, so more power to her. I guess she can sing, whatever. I hope she doesn't um, come out in, in bikinis again, though, on the stage, because I mean, she's beautiful, she's gorgeous, and all that, but um, I think it's it's a little tacky, so whatever. Um, Norman Gentle, I have an opinion on this here. Norman Gentle made it through. Um, Nick, so pardon me, I can't remember his last name. Um, and, you know, some people have said to me, well, you know, he, he shouldn't make it through, you know, what he's doing, it's just a joke, and it's not fair, and he should be serious, and blah, 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 blah. I disagree. I disagree. I think he should be allowed to be Norman Gentle for as long as he wants, because people do forget there is a market for that kind of genre. Look at the success that Weird Al has had. I mean, there's there's been, you know, plenty of... Um, entertainers that have had like comedy type music and comedy routine things that you know are successful with Adam Sandler you know his music stuff like that so you know what I, I really hope he makes it through because I'm really curious to see what America's gonna do with that if he makes it through and actually gets the opportunity to vote for him you know I want to see how far this guy will make it it's um it's quite entertaining and you know I think right now probably um more than ever, or for a long time anyway, America really needs to laugh, so, yeah, I hope he makes it. Um, they did not feature Scott McIntyre last night. Uh, they did show him briefly for a split second, saying that, you know, he, he made it through that round in Hollywood, but they didn't feature him. I was a little disappointed, because I wanted to hear him sing, um, but I'm happy that he made it through, and I'm crossing my fingers that, you know, they'll, they'll show him plenty tonight. Uh, I'm so curious to see what's going to happen with him on group night. Um, he's somebody that, you know, I'm having a hard time imagining him being in a group with uh, a lot of these other people that made it. I mean, here you have, you know, Scott McIntyre, who is very mature in his art and has traveled the world, you know, studying music and nearly, you know, exhausted all of the best venues for his education in music. He has. He's, he's been all over the world, Asia and Europe and everywhere studying music. Um, and, and to put him with, you know, possibly, you know, some like 17 year olds that six months ago sang in the shower and thought it sounded good and decided to try out for Idol. You know what I mean? I, I just, I can't imagine what's going to happen, what kind of people he's going to get grouped in with and how that's going to go. And he's really not um, somebody that I would look at and say, well, he belongs in a band. You know, some of them you can look at and say, oh, you know, uh, they remind me of the lead singer from this band or that band, and, you know, I, I think, you know, they should be in a band. You know, Scott McIntyre, no. <laughs> it's not that way. So, um, anyway, um, good luck, Scott McIntyre. I have my fingers crossed. Um, he's still the number one person I'm rooting for. It's really scary to, like, get your hopes up for uh, one of the contestants this early on um, because, you you know, you have no idea what's going to happen. If they're even going to make it to top 12 or top 10, you have no idea. They could get cut, like, you know, the next day. You just don't know. Um, so, yeah, uh, I hope he makes it through. And, um, you know, I've noticed something about me is that I tend to... Um, be more supportive and become more of a fan towards uh, the boys 
in the competition rather than the girls. I don't know why that is, if it's just because I'm a girl, so I tend to veer towards, you know, the males more than the, you know, I don't know what it is, but I've never really had a girl that I was like a huge fan of on the show. I'm gonna try to correct that this season. I, I'm, I'm gonna be watching and trying to pick a girl that, you know, aside from rooting from Scott McIntyre, I'm gonna have like my favorite girl too. Haven't picked her yet, so I'll let you know once I get there, so. All right, well, I will talk to you guys uh, later on after tonight's episode, and um, have fun watching. Bye.